The integral test is straightforward, but actually quite rarely useful because we can rarely compute the integrals involved. That doesn't mean we can never use it, of course. We've seen P-series and the harmonic series. Let's now see one or two further examples. We'll start with this, and we'll go at it using the integral test. Now, the integral test has a few conditions on it. The terms of the series have to be positive and they have to be decreasing. And we don't actually have that. We have that they're positive. I mean, we're dividing by n. We're starting with one. That say, and from here on out, these terms are all positive, but these terms aren't decreasing from one to two. You see, we increase from here to here. Here's where the fact is useful that it doesn't matter where a series starts. It doesn't change convergence. So we could start at n equals 10, let's say. And if we start at 10, now this is always decreasing and always positive, and we can use the integral test. And to use the integral test, we need to compute an improper integral. We can use U substitution here. Let me first rewrite this as a limit. And we see we have a natural log and we have division by N. And that might give us a clue about how to proceed because the derivative of the natural log gives us a one over n term like that. So we find the integral, we plug in zero and we not zero, sorry, we plug in 10 and we plug in K. And as K goes to infinity, the natural log of K goes to infinity, infinity squared times one half, still infinity minus a finite number still infinity. So the improper integral diverges and the series therefore diverges.